Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? My name is Aris and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm gonna be reacting to uh, Mitch Hadberg. I did a clip last week and I did promise I said I would give it another try because I thought there was some really good jokes. So today I'm gonna be reacting to Mitch Hadberg hilarious stand up. That's all it says. I don't know what the bit is about. That all it says in in the title. I'll probably change the title to match exactly what the bit is going to be about. So, without any delays, let's get to Mitch Hedberg. Here we go. I'm gonna increase the volume a little. Thank you. I was, I, all right. <laughs> I was gonna say how's everybody, but then I refrained. <laughs> Did I, um. Anyone see me on the uh, Letterman show? No? All right. <laughs> All right. All right. I gotta check you out this Four million well. people watch that show and I don't know where they are. <laughs> I, I cannot locate them. But I believe that, you know, that's my dream introduction right there, you know. You might have seen this next comedian on the David Letterman show. But I, I believe more people have seen me at the store. <laughs> you know? And, and that would be a better introduction. You might have seen this next comedian at the store. <laughs> people would say, hell yes I have. He likes kiwi fruit. <laughs> yeah. I didn't like kiwi at first because I thought it was like watermelon. I thought you had to spit out the seeds. <laughs> no, I, that, was, that was a risk doing that joke. <laughs> this jacket is dry clean only, which means it's dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Dry clean only, all right, here we go. Here we go, I'm ready to go to the bar. <laughs> hey, I think a rotisserie is like a really morbid Ferris wheel for chickens. <laughs> it's a strange piece of machinery. We will take the chicken, kill it, and impale it and then rotate it. <laughs> and I'll be damned if I'm not hungry. <laughs> because spitting chicken carcasses make my mouth water. <laughs> I like dizzy chicken. <laughs> with some mashed potatoes. <laughs> I, like the, I like the dizzy chicken. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can't, you can't please all the people all the time. And last night, all those people came to my show. <laughs> I like that one, I will. Do I got watermelon in my teeth? I feel like they got free watermelon in the bag and I've been overindulging. I opened up a yogurt and underneath the lid, it said, please try again. They were having a contest I was unaware of. <laughs> but I thought I might have opened the yogurt wrong. <laughs> <laughs> or, or maybe, maybe your play was trying to inspire me. <laughs> Come on, Mitch, don't give up. <laughs> Please try again. <laughs> A message of inspiration from your friends at your play. <laughs> Fruit on the bottom, hope on top. <laughs> <laughs> Much better. Much better. Uh, I'm so unanimated once the cameras are rolling. <laughs> At the wrong time to be unanimated, I would say. All right. I can't wait till this set's over because I have a roll of lifesavers in my pocket and pineapple is next. <laughs> You know, if I made an orange juice, I wouldn't be so hardcore on people. I would be more polite. Like, I would not print shake well on the card because you don't know how good people can shake, you know? <laughs> I would write, shake to the best of your ability. <laughs> they don't have a diagram that shows the uninitiated how to shake. All right, put it over here, then put it over here, <laughs> then put it over here quicker. <laughs> Mm 
I like walking Las Vegas. Las Vegas is a very exciting town. And, uh, I work at the Riviera Hotel. Uh, there's four comedians on the bill, and we all had similar hair because we were all using the Riviera in-house shampoo. <laughs> <laughs> Is two in one shampoo. <laughs> two in one is not a good term because it's, it's not real. Because one is not big enough to hold two. That's why two was created. If it was two in one, it would be overflowing. <laughs> I like to play blackjack, it's my favorite game. And my friend is a blackjack dealer, and on his forearm, he has a tattoo of an ace and a jack. See, I'm a blackjack player. On my forearm, I'm gonna get a tattoo of a 10 and a two. <laughs> <laughs> then maybe later, a king. <laughs> Bust. <laughs> I was 12 was a game in Las Vegas. <laughs> All right. I basically said the joke again. <laughs> I get up in the morning and I make myself a bowl of instant oatmeal and then I don't do anything for an hour which makes me wonder why I need the instant oatmeal <laughs> I could get the regular oatmeal and feel productive <laughs> I like Kit Kats unless I'm with four or more people <laughs> Much better, much much better from last one. I work at this club in Nashville, and uh, it's a you know five night a week club or something. And uh, I wasn't getting very many laughs, so the club owner took me aside. He said, "Mitch, you know you're not getting a lot of laughs. You're gonna have to vacuum." He made me vacuum the club. It was embarrassing. So I told the next guy, "Hey, y'all gotta start laughing. Otherwise, don't drop anything." <laughs> Were they a good crowd? Yeah, they were neat. <laughs> some, com some comedy clubs, they, they hand out comment cards. And those are rude. I don't like those. You know? Like, I'll pretend this is one here. Like, people fill it out. You know, there's a name and address, and there's a line that says comments. And, and people write down what they thought of the show. And sometimes people write negative things, and that's not necessary. <laughs> <laughs> like, some, I read something that say, Mitch sucks. Then you look up above, it has their name and address. <laughs> That's right, I do suck, but I got a lot of free time. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Mitch Hedberg! So, that was Mitch Hedberg. And I gotta say, this is far, far better than the one I did before. I don't know why, maybe because I wasn't expecting much. From this one and I literally genuinely got some really good laughs and the jokes were funny man you were right I really did need to find something that was better than the last one that's all it was and it is that you were right and I fully admit I was willing to give it another try and I'm glad I did because sometimes the very first thing you watch may not be to your liking you may find it you have a slightly different uh, sense of jokes you understand you like but if the joke is funny even though I do prefer way darker joke than the standard jokes but still it was funny I did enjoy that one way better than the one I did before and I'm glad I did and I really hope you enjoyed it too if you did like subscribe share and leave a comment I'll see you guys next time